Hi everybody, it's me Dave. Anyway, I'm going to be showing you um, the pipe and the tools I used to cut it. Now, keep this in mind. There's a lot easier ways to cut this. I'm just showing you guys how I did it. And it was just because my vise is uh, mounted on something that's unsecure. Trying to cut it with the saws will all just rattle all over the place. So anyway, what I did, <coughs> I screwed the pipe. You can see it marked here. And um, two inch sections, about 51 millimeters around there, but two inches is what I was trying to achieve. My rig is, of course, is all, you know, uneven, unbalanced. I'm going to try to get this one a little bit closer to being that way, but I'm going to just do it the same way I did the first one. So anyway, I'm going to get to cutting cutting these, and then I'll show you how I sanded them. I did leave the zinc on, though. I mean, not purposefully, but just to save time. And I believe that that is a one good reason why it does what it does. is because of the, uh, the uh, dissimilar metal interaction. Anyway... <laughs> I used a Milwaukee Sawzall with using a, a Lennox blade because they cut real fast, last a long time. And there it is. Oh, we'll get back to you in just a little bit on that second part. All right, later.